What are the things that you would do if you were asked to manage a process? Let's say you were going to buy a luxury car. What, do you, what is it that you will do? The first thing that you will look at is which is the car that will be suitable for you. So you actually you know, look at uh, you know, what is your budget and what is, what is your need and hence what is it you do? You actually plan. So planning is something that is critical. In, in a management process. So that's the first step. You actually look at what you have and what is it that you want. Now, supposing you have done this bit, what is the next thing that you will do? Going back to the example of the car, you might actually organize. You look at uh, the, the funds available in different banks, so you group it together. You uh, pull in the experience of your friends to know which is the right car or the, the right scheme that you want post buying the car. So actually organizing is nothing but grouping of activities. So you have you know, the service and the car coming together. You, you're looking at the different things that would come along with the car. So not just the basic model, you're looking at maybe the leather seats, you're looking at uh, you know, the, the latest one you have is the uh, parking assistance. So things like that, you're grouping activities together. Then what if you buy a luxury car, very expensive, and you're not very good at driving it, so what do you do? You actually staff. So you staff and uh, you employ a driver for your car because you're scared that uh, if you make a mistake or if you don't have the adequate skills to drive a big car, a luxury car in the city, then uh, you might end up paying uh, more than what you would actually pay a driver. Then you have the directing section or the directing part. Uh, and the controlling. A lot of people get confused between uh, directing and controlling. What do you mean by directing or directing? Uh, directing actually means you set certain rules or you, you have an idea how things should be done. So you actually communicate this and then you, you help people understand what you're trying to say. Controlling on the other hand is basically something like a post-mortem. So once things, are, things have happened uh, or uh, over a period of time, you actually look back and you, you change the things according to your requirement, according to what you want to achieve. Hence, directing is more of now and controlling is more of uh, you know, changing things once uh, you have analyzed a given outcome. So these are some of the things that you would do. If you take another example, if you were to organize uh, a charity show, what are the things that you would have to do? You would obviously want to plan. When is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? How much is it going to cost? Once you decide upon that, then you can look at organizing. So who are the people who can uh, be clubbed together? Who are the people uh, you need? Or what are the teams rather that you need uh, for you know, uh, achieving this task? Uh, what are the resources that you would have to pull in? Uh, what are the things that you would have to think about as in one entity would be organizing, staffing, you may not have all the people, so you might require a few volunteers, you might have to pay them, you might have to recruit them and train them as well. So that is another thing that you would have to do if you want to organize a, a charity show or charity walk and directing how people are going to do what, what time uh, it go, it's going to start, how are you going to communicate things to the people, uh, what are they supposed to do and all these things would come under directing and controlling would be uh, uh, certain checkpoints after you see what is happening, you will actually go and make the necessary changes. So these are the things that uh, would be the functions of management. Now this debate uh, has been there for a long time. Is management a science or is it, is it not? Now this question has been asked by many people and, and the answer is never definitive or a clear-cut answer and that is why this debate still rages on. Uh, during industrial revolution a lot of people thought that management was about uh, you know thinking at the past and the present and trying to uh, really uh, use that as valuable information to get better output in the, in the future and it was considered as a science like maths or physics or chemistry where people could study a phenomenon and, and understand that understand how the process is going on and hence improve upon it. So if x plus y uh, was equal to z then for the future you could actually uh, improve x or improve y uh, in order to get a better z and that was the assumption. But there was a challenge. Now considering management as a normal science or as science in its normal sense 
uh, was a challenge because although management was a science in a certain uh, way, it was actually social science. So social science made it complex. Why? Because in social science or in society, x plus y is not equal to z. It is x plus y is equal to z plus a constant factor which depends on various other things like the, the emotions and the people's feelings and, and the mood and, and various things that are involved with uh, human, human uh, life and hence it became far more complex and that is the challenge you're facing. Supposing you fire an employee, uh, according to management science you just assume that the, the previous employees who have been fired would be upset with the company or try to do something against the company which are all normal reactions but uh, unlike normal signs like if you mix a, an acid and a base uh, in a right proportion you get what is called as a salt so unlike that here you you may not understand what the reaction would be you know though that's why social science is a bit more challenging than the normal science itself and hence uh, management as a science, the concept of management as a science began to draw a lot of criticism. Now, a lot of people began to think it was more of an art. They began to think that, you know, the way you manage people, the way you manage resources uh, was not entirely up to knowing the past, but rather a, a skill that you could use effectively. It was like an artist. Now, th the answer to the question whether management is a science or management is an art itself uh, is is somewhere in between because there is no no thing as black and white as far as management is concerned you would say that management uh, is is a science but also it has to be practiced as an art to be successful so you could use the information you could try and make it as scientific as possible but really uh, the success would lie in the fact that the person who is using it would use it tactfully uh, creatively as well and, and hence it cannot be clearly defined as either a science or an art, but rather as something that is both a science and an art.